Cornerstone is a lifestyle uh, agency, um, really entrenched in music, and we help uh, bring brands to life. We help to launch brands um, and really reach that really hard demographic, uh, you know, 15 to 34 year old that's tough to reach. But we really, we, we pride ourselves on our, our ideas and our out of the box thinking. You know, Cornerstone, I found the company in, in June of 1996. Um, when I left Arista Records, but the idea for Cornerstone probably came about when I was really young. Um, being able to, you know, have my father who has been in his own business for the past 50 years, uh, warehousing a trucking company in East New York, Brooklyn, and, and just seeing him being his own boss, entrepreneurial spirit, and doing things his way. Um, I think I knew back then when I was 14, 15 years old that I always wanted to have my own company, so, um, you know, getting into the music business out of college, um, you know, working for somebody like Clive Davis. Uh, you know, Daniel Glass was a guy that gave me my first job in the music industry, but, you know, then going on working at Arista for Clive Davis um, was an incredible learning experience of, of how to really bridge the gap between, you know, music and commerce. Um, at that time, I was there when, when Puffy, or who's better known as Diddy today, um, started Bad Boy Records. And you know, I was a big part of that. Help, you know, going on the road with Biggie and Craig Mack and Total and Faith and 112, and it was just an incredible time in music. And as I was, you know, going through those days, um, I just realized like I always wanted to, you know, have my own company. And there was a good opportunity to start my company and partnered with Steve Rifkin at the time, who had, you know, Loud Records, SRC, and you know, we made a go of it. And you know, a year and a half later, John Cohen came over as my full-time partner on Cornerstone and. We've been, you know, rolling ever since. The way our company is set up, Cornerstone is a standalone company from Fader. John, who's my partner on the businesses, we own both companies um, outright. But yeah, without a doubt, the, the ability to be on the pulse of what's happening on the Fader side with emerging artists and indie bands um, and, and the world that's around Fader definitely helps us, you know, with the work that we do on Cornerstone. Being in the middle of artists and, and corporate Clients is, is definitely can be a tricky or challenging, uh, you know, proposal to be, to be in a position to be in. Um, I found that based on relationships and, and really laying everything out on the table, um, the more transparent you are with both sides, uh, there, there's usually a, a better chance of not falling into like a, a bad situation. Um, we also, when we work with our corporate, you know, clients. We, we always, you know, want to be upfront with the artist, what's expected, and we're, again, it's very, it's, it's really about understanding what both sides want out of it, and making sure there's a win-win for both sides. You know, from an artist's perspective, the, the economics of the music industry has changed dramatically from when we started, and, um, you know, in a, in a sense, there's, there's good things about that, because there are a lot of, you know, a lot of lanes and, and cracks now in the in the infrastructure of the music industry as it's reinventing itself as a, and as it's figuring out how to work with artists. But we're now in a position where these corporate brands, when they do it right, can really fill the gap. You know, we, we look at what we've done with Mountain Dew and Green Label Sound, and we're giving artists an opportunity to record a song that they might not have recorded, put them out on the road, um, give the music away to, you know, for free, pay the label, pay the artist, and all rights revert back to the artist. Like, that's an incredible, opportunity for a band that five years ago it didn't exist. Um, you know, we work with Converse and we're opening up a recording studio called Rubber Tracks in Brooklyn that uh, is going to be open to the public and bands that never had an opportunity to record with a real engineer in a top A level studio and have the opportunity to record in that studio for the next three, maybe five years, you know, and as we expand that program, you know, it's constantly like the opportunity for these corporations to get involved in a real way and help people, with, you know, with their life.